So guys, here we are. You've seen the video where I actually installed the meter dog. So what we're doing today, we're coming in and we're upgrading. So what we're doing, we're installing the plumber's meter dog kit. And what this is, it actually has its own meter. That way we're not tying on to the city meter. Now, as you can see, we've uncovered the valve box for the irrigation system where the double check is. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna install a new valve box with the meter in it, with the meter dog remote relay, and this actually makes it so I can turn the water off with my iPhone or with the app. So we're gonna upgrade, we're gonna install a new meter dog just because we're updating the software. We're gonna plug it into the meter dog remote relay and it will actually go to the solenoid valve. So now meter dog will not just be able to tell me when I've got a leak at the house, but if I know there's nobody home and all of a sudden my meter starts turning and it does not quit, I can literally press a button on my phone and turn it off. So we know where the valve box is, we know where the meter is, we're gonna go ahead and open this up. That way we can install the meter dog, install the box and get everything ready to go. So let's get this thing going. All right, so what we've done, we've gone ahead and turned off the water at the house. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna remove the old meter dog and actually set it up out of the way so I can get in here and turn the water off. So I've got the water shut off to the house and actually it shut off right up to the outside of the house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this apart. As you see, I have two flow fittings here with some old polyethylene piping in between it. So I'm gonna break it loose down here on the bottom, drain it down, take it apart. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna install this new meter coming off the old one. Now this is the city meter. What we're wanting to do is install a new meter here. That way we can hook readings up to it. And if we've ever got a problem with it, we can also double check the city.
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in because here's what I've got to look at. I've got to try to line this weird angle up. If I come in here. All right, so now that we've got everything installed, the very first step we're going to do is we're going to install the sensor on the back side of the new meter. Now this meter is ours, so we really don't have to worry about the city or anybody like that complaining about us having some stuff. But you see where the name tag is? We're trying to go right there, right on that serial number. Snug it in, 
And this sensor, as you see right here, has slots for zip ties. So I'm gonna get it in here and snug it down. Get that sensor right in place where we want it. Tighten it up right there. And as you see, I'm right up around it. I'm gonna go ahead and put one more just to hold it closer to where I want it. All right, so you see where everything is. I want that thing to stay right there. So I've got it tight with two different zip ties. I pull them different directions. Probably doesn't matter, but as you see now, that does not move. So now I'm gonna take my snips and clean it up. And the sensor's installed right where we want it, up as close to here as we can get it, and secure. Now I've got the valve controller relay box here. And as you see, the valve in here has four plugs on it. So it's gonna go on this side right over here. And if you look inside and see where your notch is, you can literally line it right straight up, slide it in, and tighten it up. You wanna make sure you thread it all the way in. This is a watertight connection. Now this does not need to be wrenched down tight, but my gloves are kind of damp. So I just wanna make sure it's screwed all the way in. So now there's our first connection. Now I'm gonna connect, take the connection going into the meter dog itself. And as you see, just the opposite, this has four female holes. I've got my four plugs in here. And if you look right there on top, there's the notch. Take that notch, slide it right in position and start threading it and it will pull it all the way in. And again, this is another watertight connection. You guys, I'm really not putting any pressure on that. I'm just tightening it up enough that I know if this does get submerged here in Texas, as you see, here's the curb, here's the meter. If it rains, these meters, these valve boxes do get full of water. And that is one thing that Meter Dog does better than any other brand out here. It can be submerged under water and it's still gonna work well. So literally what I'm gonna do now is just kind of put these down in here because now I need to install the box itself. So I've got everything in here. And as you can see, you've actually got mounts here. Sometimes we even mount these in the side of the box. You've also got the screw connectors on the meter dog. So you could mount everything on the box, but if you'll set them down in here this way, whenever it does get full of water, these will actually float up towards the top. One thing I'm gonna do a little bit different, whenever I installed my antenna, I like my antenna up towards the top. So I'm gonna bring it back over here into my meter box because I've created a zip tie holder for it right up top. So now I know that my antenna is always up in the very top of the box. And that gives me the best cellular reception I can get. Give me one more zip tie, please. Okay, I'm gonna... All right, so what I'm gonna do here, now we've got the meter dog magnets actually set down here on the cables and come up right to where the magnets are supposed to be. And what we'll do is we'll put that on, it'll blink the red eye, 30 times, then it'll turn green. At that point, you wanna remove the magnet. So we're gonna put it right down there in place. And as you can see, it's already blinking red. Now it quit blinking red. I'm gonna remove it. It's blinking red multiple times. So right now it's blinking red. What it's doing is it's actually connecting to the server. Remember, we've got the antenna over here in the meter box lid. It's communicating through cellular to the server on the back end and it just quit blinking. Now we'll watch it and see what it does. Okay, so now the light's gone off. We know it's good. Now, one thing that I can do is I can put the magnet back in place for just a second so now I can just check it to see if it's good. I put the magnet in place. 
and I'm getting green flashes. Four, five. So I got 10 green flashes. I know everything is good and working like it should be. All right, so we've got everything in, everything installed. What I'm gonna do now, I wanna test the valve control. So we've already tested all the connections. We know the antenna's good. We know the connections here are good. Battery's good. I've got all that on my app here. So, and it's showing me the valve is open. So what I'm gonna do is close valve. Okay, I held it 13 seconds. Now it's blinking red. And it sounds like it just rotated. So as y'all can see, we've got everything installed. We've got everything mounted inside the boxes and we got all the dirt put back. Now, as you can see, the grass is stacked up a little high, but it's gonna settle a bit. So everything's really good there. And like I showed you a while ago, I looped my antenna up because I've drilled holes in my lid here so I can zip tight towards the top. That way, I know I'm always getting a good cellular connection. Now, any of y'all interested in learning more about Meter Dog, reach out to me and I'll tell you a little bit more about them, how I got involved with them and why I think this is one thing that everybody doing anything at all with leak detection or remote leak detection needs to really get into. This is a product that's better than anything out there. It does three different things. Number one, it's battery operated, so there is no electrical cord to it. It has a cellular connection, not a Wi-Fi connection. So, you know, when we went through the big freeze here in Texas in February and everybody lost power, these still work and they're waterproof. Here in Texas, when it rains, these meter boxes are gonna fill up. We're not gonna have any problem. And I'm telling you this, and I know this from talking to a lot of other manufacturers out there, there's nothing else like it out there. So anyway, if you wanna learn more about Meter Dog, give me a shout, let me know, and we'll figure it out. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.